Hi guys, I'm Latoya Jones from Southern Garden Kitchen Beyond the Garden and welcome to this week's episode. I'm so excited that you decided to join us and I hope that today's video is one that not only is informative, but it's something that you can take and you and apply it specifically to your life and your needs, okay? So enjoy, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't give me one of them thumbs down now. And if you really, really like the video, please share it with your friends and family on all social media platforms. All right, y'all enjoy. You look at my co-host, I know it. I time to come in but in the meantime I'm going to go ahead and wash my faces and I know the church right now is doing a um, fellowship so that be hi guys just washing my veggies We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, for those who need to, you can check out the replay. Um, I've already washed my carrots and my um, potatoes. For those of you who got the list that I posted online, you can cook along with me. Or you can go back and watch the replay and make this macaroni and cheese on your own. So, the first two main ingredients, I did this the other night, are two carrots and two potatoes, but since these are a little small, I'm gonna use three. And so, let it, basically just chop the ends off after you wash them, of course. How are you guys doing on this Sunday? So when we cut these potatoes and carrots up, they're going to boil for roughly 15 to 20 minutes. And this is the base of my vegan cheese sauce. Some people use nuts, but my daughter has an allergy to nuts. So I like the carrot and cheese base. I mean, carrot and potato base as opposed to nuts, but you can make vegan cheese sauce with cashews. Those are the best to make them with because they're already kind of creamy and buttery. I'm gonna chop these up as close to the same size as you can get and then place them in the water on the stove. Which I already have turned on, but it's not boiled yet. Then next, we will cut these potatoes up. Hey, Angela, how are you? Welcome to today's cook along of vegan mac and cheese. People are always asking me how to make it, so I figured I would make it alongside you guys. And if you did not get the ingredients, you can always save the video or watch the replay and make it in your own free time, which we all should have plenty of right now. So anyway, okay, so I'm gonna cut up these potatoes. As you can see. 
Does anybody have any questions as to what I'm doing right now? I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Because you say it rudely. Y'all see my lovely co-host? I used to say thanks. Oh, you're welcome. I figured I would start doing more videos. People always asking how to cook certain things. And cooking vegan really is not that complicated. Some recipes can be, but. So we have now put the carrots and, where, where am I at? Let me, let me turn this, cause this ain't gonna work. They're now in the pot. And like I said, we'll let that come to a boil for about 20 minutes. And then in the other pot, I have some water boiling that I will add one one pound box of elbows to. And the reason I get the one pound is as opposed to a bigger box because this cheese, the amount of cheese sauce this makes is the, look at that. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> the amount of cheese sauce this makes is a perfect ratio for the one box. That's fine. Oh, so you'll also need a blender for this recipe. Um, I have a Vitamix, which is more of a high speed blender, but whatever blender you can use, that's gonna make sure that cheese sauce gets creamy so that you don't have bits of um, potatoes and carrots in there. You want everything to be smooth. <laughs> so crazy. Yeah, go ahead and do your shenanigans. I mean, I can't do it. We usually go live because there's nobody to interact with. Well, maybe we start chit chatting. I don't even know who's in here. We can't, I know we can't see. So I'm just setting up my blender so that when everything's done, we'll be ready to throw everything in. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna throw the other ingredients in. before the boiling takes place. Okay. You wanna do it? So my pasta water is ready. I'm sure all of you know how to boil pasta. <laughs> Usually boil it for about seven minutes, seven to nine minutes or two, what they call al dente or to the teeth. I like to leave a wooden spoon in there so that all that starch doesn't boil over. This is also a good time to, oh, you look, she looking at yourself. Alright guys, well while that while that let me turn this on. While those noodles are going, I'm gonna show you the other ingredients. While the noodles are going, I'll show you the other ingredients to put into your blender for your vegan cheese sauce. For your macaroni. Hold on, let me. I got some food in the oven. Let me check it first. It should be done. Mm -hmm. 
So if you saw the flyer, you saw the ingredients you needed to get. I need a third of a cup and a half of a measuring cup. So you're gonna need a little bit of salt. Somebody in here speaking in language. I don't know. You'll need a, just a little bit of salt. Uh -uh. I like to put a spoon of vegan butter in. What? what? I was trying to read the Oh, yeah, it's in another language. Hi, I can't read your comment, but welcome. You're going to need a little bit of lemon juice for acidity. You can use um, Imitation, but I had a lemon, so just gonna squeeze a. Let's see. Okay, there we go. That's right. Don't let me see you get in there. <laughs> Then you're gonna need a third of a cup of oil of your choice. I use avocado oil, but you can use whatever oil you wanna use. You'll need half a cup of the nutritional yeast. I know there's other nutritional yeast on the market. This is the only one I've ever used, so I don't know how the other ones taste. I'm assuming they probably taste about the same, but you know, you never know. So, those are the things I put in my blender while I am waiting on the carrots and potatoes to um, finish boiling. Hey, little. I might. I probably will have some time too to show you. Oh, and the last ingredient I will be. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna grab some now before I forget some boiling water from the carrots and potatoes. I like to put that in there too. So I'll put as much as you like. We'll give you the, the thick. No, we don't because I use the water. Remember I use this one. To give you the thickness that you want in your sauce. So that's one thing I like about this recipe. You can kind of do what you want according to your taste buds. The carrots and onion, I mean carrots and potatoes are boiling. The pasta is boiling. It should be done shortly. Like I said, this is going to take about 20 minutes. So in the meantime, you can be doing other stuff, um, preparing other parts of your meal. And today I'm going to show you something different. Hold on. I didn't put this on the cook along. Save you a plate. Okay. I didn't put this on the cook along because my sister actually found these. And they are vegan smoked drumsticks. So they come. 
They only come six in a bag. And we're just going to fry them up. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to fry mine in the fryer and toss them in barbecue sauce. But you are free to, you can do lemon pepper. You can do what, you know, whatever salt, whatever kind, whatever kind of chicken wings you want to do. Again, they're vegan chicken wings. They come from a company called All Vegetarian. Here's the information. Or vegan for all. And these are the ingredients they're made with. So the um, stick that would that uh, mimics a drumstick is made out of sugar cane, and these are the ingredients that are in it. So there is soy in here, and here are the nutrition facts for those who care. They actually taste really good, and they're really similar. To, um, these have a slightly sweet taste to them, <clears throat> but outside of that, they're still pretty good. So they come vacuum sealed. So we're just gonna cut that open. This is what they look like before they're fried. See, they look like little chicken wing, little chicken drumettes. They don't come in flats, which used to be my favorite. And then what looks like should be a chicken bone is actually sugar cane. So as soon as my fry daddy lets me know it's ready, we'll fry some up. Again, here's the picture of the front of the bag. If anybody is interested in ordering any. Of course, it may take a little longer right now because of coronavirus, but they'll be too. Can I pour some of this water? Actually, um, these are all. Mm -hmm. Okay, my oil is ready. All of these should fit into the basket at one time. And we'll let them fry for about three minutes. Because it's not meat, we don't have to worry about them still being raw. And we'll let that go. The noodles are finished. Bria has taken them off and she you need you need help. I got most of the water on it. Make sure you drain your noodles. I'm only gonna put about that much. And I like to season my noodles before I put any type of sauce on them. I see. all know pasta noodles have no flavoring so I put salt pepper and usually some butter and I use Himalayan sea salt I don't use table salt but you can use whatever salt you have That's enough. Again, a vegan butter or whatever vegan butter you have. Actually, I'm 
Actually, I think I can use the rest of those noodles. Miss Tisha. Hi, TT. Are they still on there? I don't know. Yeah, okay. TT's supposed to be working. All right, we're going to let that sit to the side. They're looking at you. Mm hmm. The longest part is letting these carrots and potatoes boil. Once you get that down, everything else is a piece of cake. See, Jennifer not working. She's gonna say, hey, burrito. We maybe have five more minutes on the boiling. But these look done. Y'all ready to see the chicken? The chicken. Yeah, you can put some paper towel in there. Ooh. See, we eat plants that don't take all day to fry. Three minutes, and they're nice and golden brown. Give me that spoon to get them out of here. We're going to drain them in a paper towel for a minute and then we will toss these with barbecue sauce. And we use a honey barbecue sauce because we're vegans who eat honey. The bee didn't die, so I still eat honey. I'm gonna leave you real quick. I got a boo Why is it? It says rotate your phone. Okay. See? Hey, Marquita. I'm just doing today's little macaroni and cheese cook along. Here's the noodles. I'm waiting on the cheese sauce to finish boiling. I just fried some vegan um, chicken wings. You said Martha Stewart. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the vegan Martha Stewart. Hey, Megan. Y'all come on in. I'm still, um, we got a couple more minutes to wait on this, the, um, potatoes and carrots to finish boiling. We'll make up our cheese sauce real quick and we'll be done. Does anybody have any questions? Or oh, let me show you what else I made today. So, you know, I'm making macaroni and cheese. I had to go all out. So, I th I've told you guys before about cooking collard greens or kale in a pressure cooker because it only takes 35 minutes. Ooh, hold on. Too much steam. So, we got the greens in here. It literally took 35 minutes. And to cook my greens to make them smoky to pretend like I have um, put meat in it. I um, I use liquid smoke and Goya ham seasoning because it's an artificial ham seasoning. And I also made on this fine Sunday. Hold on one second, y'all. If I was gonna make macaroni and cheese, I might as well go all out. We made some vegan dressing. Woo woo. Do you mail place? <laughs> I don't think this is gonna make it out of the house. My 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 family is they a mess. 
But send me send me your address. We'll see what we can do. So, yes, in addition to the macaroni and cheese today, I have made dressing, greens, vegan mac and cheese, and we have fried some vegan chicken wings that we will toss in barbecue sauce. What are y'all cooking on this Sunday? No, don't send him over here. <laughs> Y'all want to share what what you what you guys are making today? Let me move some things out of the way. Nothing is your mom cooking. This is the barbecue sauce I use. Actually, I use whatever I see. I'm salmon and veggies. That sounds good. What kind of vegetables? And how do you prepare your salmon? Leftover chili and vegan cornbread. Yeah, somehow I never got any of that chili. How do you prepare your salmon, Megan, and what vegetables are you having? So, y'all saw how quick that was for the wings. Just a quick shake. And Jennifer, is your chili vegan as well as the cornbread? Your mom and brother are smoking meat and cooking other stuff. Oh, so y'all about to eat good. Is what you're saying. Y'all give me one second. Let me drain these potatoes and carrots because they are done. And then we're going to get the show on the road. Stir fry mixed veggies from the bag and Kroger seasons that pay. Sounds like a good meal to me. Yes, the chicken in the villa, and I have a serving left for you. Oh, I feel so special. I can't wait to try it because I know it's good. Okay, now that the, um, that's fine. Now that the carrots and onion, I mean, not carrots, why do I keep saying carrots and potatoes are ready? I'm going to add them to the ingredients I put in my blender earlier. Not me, you know I'm trying to look like Little Debbie and not Big Deborah at the end. <laughs> I know that's right. Have y'all been getting out and exercising during the quarantine? Are y'all at home eating up all your quarantine snacks? you guys I've stacked it all in here and now we about to put it on this blender you got the blender thing here what the blade the blades are always in this one oh, oh, I hate that you about to scare me make me question my own blender it's gonna be a little loud hold on <laughs> Cheesy goodness. All right, you wanna, yeah, you wanna have them watch me. All right. 
nice, you guys. And then you just simply pour the vegan cheese sauce. Mm. Look at that liquid gold. I want every bit. And remember the how how um much it oozes depends on how much water you, you put in the amount of water you want. Now if I was dipping these in if I was using this as a chip dip, then I probably wouldn't um, put as much liquid in it. But I don't want my macaroni. And nobody wants dry macaroni and cheese, so I put a little more liquid in it. Is anybody actually cooking along with me or did everybody just tune in to see what I was doing? Which is fine, because you can catch the replay and do it later. What did Megan say? What was that bottom thing? Oh, they had it zoomed. Yeah. Well, at least you're still amongst the land of those that are employed. <laughs> you can wear a shirt and not wear nothing from the waist down or what to tune into your meeting. Okay. So now that is all mixed up, half of my pan I'm going to use Dia cheese shreds. Miss mm -hmm. Tisha said, now you know I ain't cooking with you. <laughs> Um, I'm going to use this on half the pan. Bria doesn't like these. So if you have somebody that doesn't like um, the fake cheeses, then don't either make them a separate pan or just put it on half like I'm going to do. So I put ha half and then we'll um, put it on broil in the oven. Thanks, Megan. And it looks beautiful. She'll have to do this later. Thank you. All right, we're going to broil this for uh, maybe three minutes. You want something? You want to add a goose to water? Really? What are y'all doing? Awesome, give me a heart. Somebody gave me a heart. What are y'all doing? I'm supposed to be studying for a test. Have I studied? No. I'm supposed to be doing discussion posts. Have I done it? No. I'm supposed to be doing homework. Have I done it? No. Am I going to do it? No. I'm going to take a nap. Oh, I need my eyebrows done. Can you see this? have been mentally preparing for school two weeks ago i have not mentally prepared in the bed supposed to be doing discussion posts mm -hmm. they're not getting done i'm tired i'm tired of school i need to make some anchor charts what's an anchor chart i know i ain't been out of school that long i don't remember an anchor anchor chart for math Students' math, but I don't, I don't know what an anchor chart is. Mm -hmm. 
Is it she teach middle school? Yep. Yeah, middle school. I don't remember. I don't remember that. I'm not retarded, but put it on the wrong thing. Chart said, give students step-by-step -step directions on how to solve. Oh. So, like, tutorials. She checked it. it All right, y'all. You want your butt for? She checked it. It wasn't brown enough, so she... So she put it in the oven and broiled it um, for one more minute. But you don't want to keep broiling it too long because it's not real cheese. It's not. It'll yeah, get, it'll you don't get want dry. it to get dry. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. This is my half. That's Your half. Their half. <laughs> Yep, that's their half. Ta da! See, for those that say vegan cheese don't melt, it does melt and it stretches because I know y'all see that. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Y'all see this? Dressing kale, mac and cheese. Little drumsticks. All right, y'all. And our dinner is that done. That was today's cook along. That's right. Dinner is done. Ooh, plate's hot. Thank you for giving us um, a couple of minutes of your time today so we could show you how to. Why'd you? Uh, she said, Why'd you make that face? Oh, let me show y'all how this chicken tears. Like regular chicken. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go eat my Sunday dinner and go take a nap. Y'all make sure with it. Y'all leave me ideas. Megan was actually the one who gave me the idea to do the vegan mac and cheese. So if there's something else that you guys want to see that we do as a cook along, just drop it in your comments below or put it on my page. I'm going to do this weekly. It may not always be on a Sunday, but the information will be posted. And I try to show y'all that eating this way does not have to be tasteless and or boring. You personally made this on the day I had to work. No, I didn't. This was a day that was convenient. All right, you gotta get off at some point. This is so good. Anyway, guys, until next time. Bye. Say hello to my little co-host. See you guys Bye. later. Enjoy your Sunday. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope that something that you saw in today's video will have a positive impact in your life. Please don't forget to share with share this video with your family and with your friends. And until next time, thank you for joining me on Southern Garden Kitchen Beyond the Garden.